Hey, it's Ronnie. Look at this. It's midnight, Sunday night. This is the, out the final outlet of my septic system. Look, it's all frozen. Guess what I got in my bathtubs and my shower in my house? Sewer! I hope I get it thought out. It took me an hour to get all this set up. I might be here all night moving propane tanks, but I gotta get this thought out. Yeah, I got sewer backed up in my bathtubs and my shower. It ain't cool. Oh man, this sucks. I just hope I get it thought out. It ain't going very fast. Oh well. I refuse to lose. Ciao. Check it out. Ain't so tough now, are you, motherfucker? Uh, let's see, from 10.30 last night till 3 o'clock. So that's what? 12, 16 hours? This was plan E. Every other plan kept failing. And this is how far up it was frozen in three different places. Check that out. I'm thawing it all out with a spray part now. How that miss out. That's how I got it thought out. And with the poking pipe, I'm going to let that keep shooting up in there. Thawed all out good. It's up to 32 degrees right now here. Yeah, about three different places. About six feet each. Wow, was that a nightmare. All from that east wind and apparently it, no snow cover. It got really cold up there. Blew in the pipe and it started dicing over day by day and it finally blocked down here at the bottom. So then it kept building up top and it's barely seeped out until it didn't hardly seep out at all anymore. But yeah, there you go. That was plan E. There's my poking pipes that I used to help bust it loose, run the water. Plan A was to use hoses and run off the hydrant last night. But it was so cold, it was down to three degrees. I did have water at the hydrant, but it was so cold, the hoses I had broke when I tried to move them and drag them across the snow. Broke two of them, so I ran out of hose, so that was done for the night. So then I took this big Nebco down there. I got a little video, I'll show it then. I had it down there from one in the morning until seven o'clock this morning. And I made about seven inches of progress. That was a no-go. So then, I was going to run. I went to North Fork, got another 150 foot of hose so I could run from here while it was 32 degrees to keep it warm. Well, then I got that all figured out. And then now, as you can see, this failed. My hydro froze up while I was out this morning when the hose broke last night. It, Midnight, and now it's froze up, so no water. I couldn't even do that. So then I was down to trying to heat that with uh, with that big ready here against the pipe. I had it going for an hour, wouldn't thaw it out. So I had to go to plan E, which is, wow, you gotta think out of the box. Well then I was gonna try plan E was, there's a faucet on the side of the house over here. I've never used that in probably 15 years, so it wasn't. It didn't have any water. So then, okay, down to my last chance. Here's what you do: if you have a washing machine and a garden hose, and you make sure it don't leak. There's some nut more extra hose I bought just in case. Looky here, I had to pull up my washing machine. There's the hose. Hooked up to the cold water side of my water for my washing machine. And that's how I ran it. And it took four hours to melt through all that ice. A little over four, about five. But there it is, yeah. You gotta think out of the box. Yeah, that's happened one time before with a cold east wind over days and days like we had. And I believe it started freezing up when we had no snow. And then we got all this snow, and then it kind of covered everything up, but, yeah, so. <laughs> there, you learn you something. Wow, that was a 16-hour old ordeal I don't like, but I've been through it once before. 20 years ago it happened. Same situation, no snow, and then snow, and east wind storms, and cold, cold. It was like three last night. It said it hadn't been warm before in one or two days, so. 
but there you go. Yeah, that was the gush once I busted through. I only got splattered with shit a little bit. It was all right. I'm washable. Now she's all cleaned out. I'm gonna slowly pull this back out and let it run for like five or six minutes and just make sure everything's mellowed out. But yeah, there you go, man. Peace, love, have a heart. Have a heart. Don't let shit get you down. I mean, that was a long day starting from about eight o'clock Sunday morning till now. I did get a half hour nap. But yeah, just go, go. Think out of the box. Y'all take care, I love you. I will be back. I promise. Ciao. Yeah, not so tough now, are you, motherfucker? Mm, I refuse to lose evil. Will never prevail over me. Wow, that was a bit. I'm glad that nightmare's over. Ciao. And now I have to go clean out the bathtubs in the shower where it all freaking, uh, after it plugged up, it, it backed up into my tubs and my shower, so I gotta go scrub all that out now, but that's inside where it's warm. It ain't too awful. Don't forget that. <laughs> I refuse to lose. Ciao.